We're following some breaking news out of Southern California. There you see a black Mercedes, two individuals inside, the driver and a passenger just to the right of him. And apparently this is the 101 freeway. They're heading north, basically out of Los Angeles toward uh, Calabasas in the San Fernando Valley there. They've been followed by police. Uh, now, we can't tell you much in the way of details here, except that they have refused to stop the heeds of L.A. police and the county officials there. But as you might imagine, it's just before 9 a.m. in Los Angeles, which is normally gridlock, bumper to bumper traffic. It's it's amazing that this slow speed chase is, has gone on as long as it has, uh, as far as it has given all of the traffic in Southern California. Don't know why uh, police are following and don't know uh, if they suspect any prior criminal offense here or if the passenger is voluntary or a hostage. Just don't have those details, but we're going to continue to follow what's happening in Southern California. Um, and we'll get to the details. We'll be back to that in just a moment. Right now, demanding answers from the White House. Always nice to have you here to talk to us about Thank it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Greg? Senator, thanks very much. Want to switch over to the breaking news story out of Southern California. See this vintage black Mercedes? There's a driver and a passenger, and they are being pursued by the California Highway Patrol. This thing started uh, roughly 7.54, so less than an hour ago. And of course, it is rush hour in Southern California, although this is a car that's heading on the 101 North, so not as much traffic as 101 South into Los Angeles. This is really uh, traffic moving out to San Fernando Valley and away from the downtown area. We don't know why this car refuses to pull over and stop, uh, refuses to heed the warnings of uh, LA County Sheriff and CHP. We don't know if uh, the driver is wanted uh, for a particular criminal act. But now at a standstill because that's how the traffic goes in Southern California. It'll be interesting to see if all traffic halts to box this guy in. Uh, but the California Highway Patrol is being very, very cautious here. And that is because there have been a number of instances, including in Los Angeles, when people have been killed. Uh, by virtue of high-speed chases, so police don't want to aggravate the situation. Harris Faulkner's uh, been checking into this and following it. Harris, what more do you know? Well, they are now on one of the busiest stretches of road in the country at this hour, Greg. This is the 101 South through Studio City is where he's moving right now. And why we need to know that is he could have gone northbound and had a wide open track, but he chose this route for whatever reason. We've been seeing this guy stick his hands out the window. We don't know who the heck he's waving at, trying to see if there's anybody in the back seat as well. Uh, you know, this stretch of freeway is so thick right now that the main concern is that he not reach those speeds of 80 miles an hour. Even in this thick traffic, Greg, a few moments ago, he was going upwards of 80, if you can imagine that, just barely missing people. Now look to the uh, left center of your screen and you can see the squad cars that are now not even lagging behind. They're trying to catch up to this guy uh, in the moments where he's so close to traffic before he can speed up again. I'll keep watching it and let you know what happens. All right. And I apologize. I thought he was heading north. In fact, he is heading south uh, on the 101. And this originated, as I understand it, in Ventura. So we'll keep an eye on what's happening here and follow this uh, slow speed chase during rush hour in the Los Angeles, Southern California area. We'll be right back. A now high-speed chase in Southern California. It's gone from slow to high in a matter of minutes. This is the Los Angeles area. It was the 101. It's a little unclear where it is now, but that black Mercedes, a vintage uh, model, is stolen, apparently. That's the latest information we have been getting. And this began in Ventura about, well, less than an hour ago. Uh, police have not, you know, tried to use a, a spike strip to blow out the tires. They haven't tried a pit maneuver, even though the Mercedes at one point in time, just a few minutes ago, came to a complete stop in the morning rush hour traffic in Southern California. Let's go to William Lajeunesse, who is there in L.A. And, and William, where are they now? 
Greg, they just uh, th this this vehicle, as you said, it started about 8:07 local time. The vehicle was going about 90 miles an hour, weaving in and out of traffic, and then CHP attempted to make a stop up in Ventura County, and he failed to stop, failed to yield, and that is when the chase began. Now there's two individuals in this car. They've been on the 101 South going into Los Angeles. They just made the uh, uh, basically there's a break in traffic between the 170 North. They are now on the 101 South going into LA. Now we are told. That, that officers are now getting in front of him and as well. There have been three CHP vehicles following this um, older Mercedes. There's two individuals inside. One is wearing a red shirt, the passenger. Uh, the driver's in a white shirt. They've been making some strange gestures out the top of the sunroof. This guy has been looking really relaxed, Greg, with his arm out the window, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, everything's cool. And um, what is surprising is they have not come yet to a totally dead stop, as you would expect at 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, West Coast time, heading right into L.A. And I expect them to hit even heavier traffic than you're seeing now. And the question is, will CHP attempt to box them in as we're being led to believe I that mean, they're they now positioning some units in front of him? They've right? come to a stop. They could use the pit maneuver right there where you bump the back. Uh, side of the vehicle and sort of force it to go sideways. Uh, you can't really put spike strips down because you'd have to clear the traffic. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd blow a lot of other tires out. Um, and again, this is south. I had earlier said north. It is south, so the traffic is only going to get worse this morning. Har Harris Faulkner, you've been listening in to some of the traffic. What, what's going on? Yeah, you can hear on the scanner traffic. Uh, the big problem, Greg, is exactly what you're describing. They can't really do much because there's so many cars in front. Now, they were doing what William was saying, was trying to clear with squad cars in front of this vintage Mercedes, trying to clear some of that traffic out. Where they are right now is right by Universal. He's driving out of the valley, and as you say, it's only going to get thicker we may see him pull down and slow down again and here it is greg yeah all right um boy you know i'm actually impressed that the traffic before 9 a.m heading into los angeles on the 101 can even move i mean it usually is a nightmare and if you really want to get to work in downtown la you got to leave at like 4 35 in the morning and here it is you know maybe maybe they've improved it since i lived there or looks like they've now cleared some of the traffic in front. That could be it. We'll continue to follow this car chase in Southern California. West, where we're watching a stop and go car chase, really. That's the best way to describe it. It's not high speed by any stretch of the imagination, at least at this time. It started off that way. And as the helicopter uh, camera shot pulls in, you'll have a better idea of what car we're watching. It's a vintage Mercedes. Uh, Greg and I are both from California, so we can describe this really as a Californian style car chase because it's you got laid the, back. <laughs> it's laid back. The sunroof is open, the windows are down, and they're just sort of cruising along because. Well, they don't really have anywhere to go at this yeah. point, Greg. They, I mean, these where guys, are they headed? They never get away with it. But our viewers may be saying to themselves, well, why don't they just, you know, block the car or rear end it or something like that? Um, you don't want to make the situation worse. You don't want to injure other vehicles and passengers and cars. But it looks like, Jenna, that police have done a very good job, California Highway Patrol, in diverting a lot of the traffic that is ahead on the 101. Um, plus, we're also told that the traffic is incredibly light uh, this morning. And boy, I couldn't tell you why, because normally before 9 a.m., it is just bumper to bumper on the 101. But there it is. Now, they may try a strip, uh, spike strip to blow the tires out if they can get enough of the other traffic away. Um, There's a closer shot there. Still no word on who's inside the car. We do know, no. according to reports, that the car is stolen and that uh, police tried to stop the car that was speeding earlier on and weren't able to stop it. Right now, the LAPD, as well as the LA County Sheriff's helicopters are overhead. And we see this a lot out in California. William Lodge Ness is, is hanging out with us watching this as well, William. And we see, you know, that really uh, law enforcement in California, we see them getting a little closer here, but tend to hold back and just sort of wait out chases like this well you know one reason um it's light you guys this is uh, there was a jewish holiday earlier this week and some people took the week off that's one reason it's a little lighter wait a second okay the, they've stopped uh they let's see if over. the uh if the cops pull them out of the car or not they could pull up alongside right now and and box him in they've chosen not to i don't understand why 
Uh, by the way, there, it's conflicting information on, okay, we've got a passenger getting out right now. And standing next to what looks like an overpass, William. Do, any idea how high that is? No, I, you know, I, I'm guessing a good, a good 16 to 18 feet. Sort of a difficult um, shot here. I'm looking at another shot that we have up on our screen as well. A couple shots available to us. And it looks like there's four police cars right behind this car. You don't see the, there it is. There's the full shot. And you see the officers uh, behind the doors there. One person got out of the car on the right-hand side. Right. You saw them inside doing something. We don't know what. Usually the they get instructions over the, you know, the loudspeaker that these vehicles are equipped with. All of the police vehicles are equipped with it. And it looks like they didn't want to get too far in front of him. You never know if he has a weapon. And so they have to take this slowly. Yes, get out on the ground. Keep your hands uh, up. Now he's going to lie entirely prone in just a moment. And then they'll approach and frisk him and cuff him and haul him away. You've got to be worried about somebody else who might be hiding in the back seat you didn't know about. Um, all kinds of things could be troublesome. So, you know, you have to take it slow and easy. But this one took about, well, an hour, but it is finally over.